Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to another episode of Cornerstone Quick Tips. My name is Josh Donnelly and in today's episode we are going to take a look at Flexbox gap controls along with the new H-Flex and V-Flex prefab elements within Cornerstone. So what does that mean and how does that work? Well, let's dive in. So first, let's go ahead and start from scratch, and let's say that we are working on a three-column layout here, and we want to build out some cards within these columns here, right? So we want to do something, let's go ahead and just give this a white background here, and we'll give it some padding of like three M's all the way around, and so I think that's looking pretty good. Now let's go ahead and grab a headline, and we'll drop that in here, and let's just make this look a little bit more like a headline, maybe we make it bold, that's looking great. Then we'll come in here and add some text. Then we'll come in here and add a button. And now things are looking pretty good, but they're also looking pretty squished. So if we were to copy this over here, your normal workflow might be to simply click on the headline, come in here, open up margin, and add 1M or whatever you choose of bottom margin. Then you'll come into your text element and do the same thing so that you have 1M of bottom margin. And now things are spaced out pretty nicely there. And that's not a bad way to do it, but there is a more efficient way to do it, and that is utilizing Flexbox Gap. So how do we do that? Well, let's go ahead and grab this first column here and we'll add that over here in column three. And now all we have to do is click on column three, scroll down to Flexbox, and right here you'll notice that we have Flexbox Gap. And I could say I want this to be a 1M gap, and as soon as I do that, everything is updated to 1M. If I added this as a 5M gap, just to be extreme here to show you how this works, you'll notice that everything has been updated to a 5M gap. And we're currently on Flex direction column, which is what we want to space things out vertically. But what if we wanted to use a horizontal gap? Well, we could actually come in here. Let's go ahead and add another section. And within this section, instead of rows and columns, I am just going to add a global margin div, which basically functions as the primary container of your row or column. So it kind of gives us that global margin that we like with rows. Now, within our global margin div, maybe I want to add two buttons. So I'm going to type in button and we have button one and button two. Now, normally to space these out, you would have either created rows and columns and let the columns do the spacing or maybe you would add something like a little bit of right margin or left margin to the button like this here and that would space things out a little bit there but this can be done much cleaner now where you simply select the parent div container here we scroll down to flexbox we enable now we don't want these to be stacked in a vertical state, which is our column flex box. We want row flex box, which is horizontal, but they're still side by side. But now that we have row set, we can come down to gap and where we have zero, we could add one M of space. And now we've got some nice gapping there. And now the nice thing is if I add any more buttons, they all follow that same 1M. And I can come in here and take this a step further, and I could center my layout so all these buttons fall in the middle, and things are looking nice there. Now, I could come in here, and I could change this to 0.25Ms, and my gapping is smaller, or I could change it to 5Ms, and my gapping is larger. So, as you can see, the potential with this is super powerful. So, you can set your gapping on nearly any container, and for the divs, Cornerstone makes this even simpler by having prefab V flex and H flex element. So what does that mean? Well, if we type in V flex, we get a layout element here, which is prefabbed out for vertical gapping. And if we type in H flex, we have a prefab element that is prefabbed out for horizontal gapping. Now, truly the sky is the limit here with what you can do, but this will really streamline your design builds and processes. As always, I hope you guys find these videos useful and I will see you guys in the next video. Happy building.